Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new NVIDIA daily update video. So today, as per usual, let's go over NVIDIA. Let's talk about NVIDIA stock, what it's done today and what I personally see moving forward for the stock. So as per usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. And of course, my membership section on YouTube is live. That link is down below in the description of the video. For just $3 a month, you get access to all my intraday thoughts, post updates every single day on Tesla and just the broader market sometimes as a whole. And for $5, you get access to all of that, plus NVIDIA daily updates as well uh, every single day. So definitely check it out if you're interested. We'd love to have you there. Link is below in the description for the YouTube membership. But jumping into it, NVIDIA closing the day up a measly 0.22%, which is pretty much in line with the QQQ at least, up only 0.12%, uh, which is not a whole lot, but closing at 116.26, right? Which is, again, pretty much a non-existent movement. It has some movement throughout the day, but closed that pretty much flat. Now, we did end up doing some potential small bear traps, I would say, and let me discuss those really quickly, right? The small bear traps were as follows. So you can see we're actually still kind of hugging the top of this trend line, right? This little uh, 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 bow flag breakout that we had. You know, we're still roughly hugging right around it on the one hour chart, right? But you can see it actually did a bit of a bit of a bear trap, in my opinion, right? You can see over here, if I take out this, you can see, right, it kind of went sideways in this general range for quite some time, right? And it had this area as massive support. And what happened was a one hour actually closed below it, right? The, for the first time where each pref uh, candle before that only left a wick down there and it never really closed below, I don't know, what was this, like 115 and a half or something like that, right? Um, it closed below it. And then it had a massive, massive bearish candle over here that also seemed like it's tur it's turning this range back into a resistance now from support, now resistance. And then ultimately it said, yeah, never mind, and just pretty much climbed right, right back above it. So I view that as a small bear trap on the one hour. Nothing crazy, of course, but thought I'd mention that out. Some wonky price action for the most part. But nonetheless, Nvidia is looking interesting. Now, Again, we did close above the 21 EMA, which is a good sign, right? We're above the 21 EMA. In my opinion, like I said before, above 21 EMA equals bear or bullish. Below equals bearish. Sometimes it's sometimes it's really just that simple. But if you want more confirmation, right, as to what maybe to really expect from Nvidia next, as to what major levels to look out for, unfortunately, they remain the same as I said, I believe, on Friday's video. Above 120, well, Nvidia gets you know more bullish, right? It gets more bullish, and I think the move to about, we'll say. One, two, three to one, two, five or six um, becomes valid and reasonable, right? You can definitely expect that. However, if we break below this candle's low recently, you can see right here are about 113. Well, expect a move lower, most likely to at least 110, if not probably closer to like maybe 107 or something like that, potentially even closer to the bottom of this trend line once again, which again, depending on when it happens, could also be somewhere around 105 or six, right? Somewhere around that range, but at the very least 110 at bare minimum, in my opinion. So that's kind of the main thing I'll be looking at for NVIDIA. Now you can make an argument that it is setting up what could be a little bit of a, a larger bull flag. So if I take this uh, situation out of here, and instead we look at it something like this, take the trend line, right? And then we look at it, looking something like this, right? We could be setting up that something that looks like this, a little bit of a bull flag, a little bit of a bull wedge, potentially as well, whichever way you want to look at it. And, you know, if we break below one of these trend lines, that could also be another hint as to potentially where the next direction uh, that we're probably going to be heading to is going to be next, right? Just wait for these situations to break. And, you know, one of these at some point, probably sooner than later, I'd be surprised if it takes longer than Wednesday, honestly, could be even, even as early as tomorrow. Once one of these ranges breaks, 113, 120, expect movement in that respective direction. Now, uh, looking at the indicators down here, MACD, still bullish, right? Obviously it's kind of flat, right? Nvidia has been kind of going flat or sideways-ish for the past, you know, little bits. So that's something to consider. RSI is pretty much right in the middle. It's not overbought or oversold. It's slightly more bullish, but it's pretty neutral in my opinion, right? I really like this RSI, especially on my aggressive uh, um, uh, version of it that I have, right? I put it to five as opposed to 14 as the default. I like to see it above or below the green or red line. That to me starts signaling overbought or oversold territory, obviously. But one thing that's a little bit, you know, potentially concerning moving forward this week even is the fact that the stochastic is officially now curling, which again, it's not necessarily bearish, but it is showing to me that the bullish momentum is slowing down. It is definitely slowing down or at the very least waiting for the next move, which could be if we break out of that bull flag or wedge, the stochastic will most likely uncurl and move its way back up if we break to the south part, uh, uh, southwards of that wedge that I just showed you on the four hour, right? That most likely means that the stochastic on the daily chart, which is pretty powerful in my opinion, will cross bearish. And then we most likely will have NVIDIA again, like I said, probably 110 at least, if not lower to closer to 106-ish. 
So just watch for those levels, right? That's the way I'll be looking at it, right? The volume today, by the way, absolutely abysmal. Let me take a look if the market had, yeah, the market just had abysmal volume today, literally non-existent volume for the most part. Uh, let me say, AMD, yeah, the market across the board, at least AMD and NVIDIA, very, very, very low volume today. So that's, you know, I mean, we could be setting up for something, who knows, the markets, it seems like the market doesn't know where it wants to go. Like for instance, take a look at QQQ, which NVIDIA does, you know, roughly follow for the most part pretty much has no idea where the hell it wants to go. Three days in a row now, we've set three dojis, right? Dojis are either reversal candles, or they have potentials to be reversal candles, but for the most part, they just show indecision, really, right? The market just, it doesn't know where it wants to go. The market is just like, eh, do I want to go up? Do I want to go down? Like, I'm not really sure, right? But the way I look at it is this, right? There's a decent chance, in my opinion, especially with the market, kind of being a little bit on the more overbought side. You can see our size up here, Stochastic is overbought, starting to show some signs of curling. If the market does roll over, which could be what brings NVIDIA down to, like I said, 110, 105, right? One of those levels. You know, for instance, QQQ can come down like this, right? And it can come down to retest this pretty crucial level that it just broke out of, which would be the 21 EMA that will play catch up to us pretty much around the low 470s, right? The trend line retest as well, that could be important, potentially even coming down to fill this gap at what, 471 and a half roughly. So those are the levels, you know, that you could be looking for, right? You could be paying attention to that if the market does curl over, that's probably where QQQ is headed next. And as long as that holds though, right? As long as QQQ comes down here to like, let's say mid to low 470s and holds, this just seems like a bullish retest. And I mean, as long as something crazy doesn't happen, you would expect it to continue back upwards, right? You would expect it to do something like this and then move its way back up, just as a rough example. I don't know how long it'll take. Maybe it'll be like this, I don't know. But the point is a retest, successful retest into a move back up uh, could be expected as early as this week, to be completely honest. And then I think we'll rally for the first couple of weeks of October. And then most likely, I think the second half of October could be a potential, you know, turbulence we'll say in the market as the election heats up uh, and that's usually when the uncertainty really starts getting pretty damn high with the election season really coming in hot so anyway that's kind of the main thing i'm looking at for nvidia which again roughly follows qqq right so if QQQ rolls over like that, expect NVIDIA to also roll over like that. But like I said before, NVIDIA most likely will find support 110 to 105. I'd be surprised if it didn't. And ultimately, I would expect it to move its way back up, probably even closer to about the 123 region. So one potential situation, it could be something like this and then back up like this. And then maybe it breaks out or maybe it comes back down again. And, you know, ultimately, the overall main move you want away for NVIDIA is a break above or below one of these trend lines to really get an idea as to where the hell it wants to go next. But those are the kind of main things I'm eyeballing for nvidia moving forward right and again short term you want to wait for a break either out of this channel or a wedge rather or if you want to play it in the horizontal sense right 120 113 and a half roughly or just 113 to make it simple once one of those levels breaks expect continuation in that respective direction but uh, in terms of options flow nvidia I think it was uh, not really found anywhere, actually not really bearish nor really bullish. So yeah, NVIDIA is not really, really anywhere to be found right now. It's kind of under the radar, it feels like, right? I did see some decent bullish flow. I saw some several million come in, like a 4.2 million uh, call come in, for instance, over here for December 20th, 126 strike, right? 1 million, 1 million, 1 million over here, right? 125 strikes, 120 strikes, all for either November 15th or October 18th. So I am seeing some calls come in, right? 4 million down here for also December 20th, 126 strikes. So I am seeing some whales actually step in. I'm not sure why black box is not really showing NVIDIA anywhere to be found. Uh, at least nothing you know noteworthy but i don't know who knows for sure but i did see some of these calls come in thought i'd mention them regardless on Chatterflow. so by the way if you want to check out these softwares for yourself link is down below with the uh, uh, coupon code uh to get a little bit of a discount so check it out if you're interested but yeah i mean not a whole lot to really update other than that right pretty slow day expect some potential volatility to kick in hopefully tomorrow or the day after in my opinion once we really pick a direction from this little tightness that we're setting up on NVIDIA. But yeah, all in all, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.